afternoon everyone uh, today i'm going to explain uh, class 8 chapter 2 that is understanding secularism but uh, before going further with the explanation i would like you to know why is india called a secular country uh, india is called a secular country because every citizen of india gets opportunity to select their own religion uh, it means every citizen can practice any religion uh, you can, for example, like you can be a Hindu, you can be a Muslim, and you can be a Christian as well. Uh, if you want to be a Christian, you can be a Christian. If you want to be a Muslim, you can be a Muslim. If you want to be a Hindu, you can be a Hindu. Also, you can practice any religion. You can continue any religion. So that is why India is called a secular country. Now, next is, why is India called a unity in diversity? I think everyone knows what is unity, but not everyone knows or else not everyone is familiar with that word oh, diversity. Now, diversity means different. So, India being uh, a different culture, different tribe, different language or different dress wearing, even after that also, India remains united or else remain uh, together in every place, in every time, in every... Uh, the details on what is secularism. So, uh, secularism means that government does not promote any religion or does give any priority to only one religion. So, all the religions are given equal preferences. Not only uh, Hindu are given preferences, not only Christians are given preferences, or not only Muslim, not only uh, Sikh are given preferences. All the religions are given equal priority or preferences. So, uh, that is why Indian government declares holiday in every religious festival so that all the students, all the official workers celebrate their uh, fest uh, festival with their relatives, with their family and with their children. So, uh, it can also be seen that uh, no government school celebrate a religious festival because a government has declared uh, that no government school uh, should no government school should uh, celebrate any religious festival in the school itself but uh, in terms of private school we can see that uh, some of the schools celebrate religious festival as well but in terms of uh, government school they do not that is why uh, government declares uh, religious a festival as a uh, holiday so that every student or the worker can celebrate uh, their festival, religious festival with their own family member peacefully. Uh, so so uh, looking at the Indian secularism, it is said that or it can be said that one religion does not dominate the other religion group. Or uh, second one is some members do not dominate other members of the same religious community. And the third one is state does not enforce any particular religious nor take away the religious freedom of the individual. So it is our uh, individual freedom to uh, individual freedom to uh, select any religion, which religion we like, which religion we like to practice. So it all depends upon us. Uh, it is it is our freedom to select any any uh, any what is the any religion. No one have the, no one have got that right to uh, say that you cannot do this, you cannot do that. You can be a Hindu, you can be a Muslim, you can be a Christian. So it is all our individual rights. So uh, this is about our Indian secularism. But uh, speaking of uh, uh, Saudi Arabia, we can say that even though secularism prevails, but discrimination is also seen. Like uh, non-Muslim peoples are not allowed to build temples, churches, or any other uh, any other uh, worshiping place other than Muslim in Saudi Arabia cannot be built. So uh, it is uh, it is also seen that the majority group, majority religious group, they dominate over the other minority religious group. Like uh, in Saudi Arabia, we usually see only Muslim uh, Muslim people with majority percentage. And there are also some other religious group, but they can be, but they are of minority, or else they are very less. 
so they are regarded as minority so what happened is that the muslim people dominate over the other uh, minority religious group so um, so the other other minority groups are hindered so uh, this is all the explanation of, of what is secularism thank you